energy resources of energy that energy resource is further divided into two parts which is renewable energy resource and non renewable energy resource renewable energy resource means an energy resource which once used can be used again and non non renewable energy resource is an energy resource which once used and cannot be used again uh, non renewable for example nuclear fuel nuclear energy we can once used cannot be used again uh, like thermal energy once used cannot be used again fossil fuels once used cannot be used again similarly green here are a few example for the renewable that once used they could be used again hydroelectric energy that depends on the water cycle so we can use it again and again whenever it rains we it, it's it's again there tidal energy is there wind energy once used could be used again wave energy once used could be used again geothermal energy solar energy and biofuels these are all of the energy resources the definitions are given in the uh, theory you could see easily in, in in the video you could see the definition of the following uh, energy resources that once they are used they could be used again another important topic that i would like to add to this point is how each energy resource is dependent on sun There are only a few energy resources which are independent of sun, does not draw its energy from sun or does not depend on sun. So let's discuss that. That's a smaller topic. Out of that is geothermal energy. It does not draw its energy from uh, the sun. And then we have uh, uh, here, we have tidal energy that does not draw its energy from the uh, sun. And here is the nuclear energy. These are the three types of energy which does not draw its energy from the nuclear uh, from the sun and uh, tidal energy depends on the gravitational pull of the moon. Geothermal energy comes from the center of the earth and nuclear energy comes from the nucleus of an atom. So these three types of energies, three resources of energy does not upon sun. Rest all of the energies that we have or see and use depends on the sun. For example, if shortly we'll discuss that hydroelectric city. Hydroelectric energy depends on water cycle. Water cycle depends on sun because when it, when it will rain, we'll store the water in the dam and that will use that in the later stage. Uh, wind energy is created due to convection currents. What are convection currents? Convection current is defined as the movement of hot and cold air particle. Hot air particles moves upward because it becomes less dense and cold air particles takes their place. Due to this movement of hot and cold air particles, we have convection current. This movement of hot and cold air particles is known as convection current. So it is dependent on sun. So wind is dependent on sun. Uh, wave energy depends on, uh, normally it depends on the uh, wind. So wave energy is also dependent indirectly on the sun. Solar energy is solar energy. So it's completely depends on sun. So fossil fuels depends on sun. Uh, the if, uh, food we eat would is dependent on sun. Biofuel depends on sun because uh, everything that grows on this earth depends on sun, and our even our growth is dependent on sun. So all these factors are uh, kept in mind uh, that what energy resources are dependent on sun and which energy resources are not dependent on sun. Uh, adding to this point, another important topic comes that. What factors to be kept in mind while using the energy resource? So continuing this with this, uh, section where which factors needs to be kept in mind while using an energy resource as the number one is reliability that how reliable that source is, is it available or not availability. Reliability is mostly dependent on uh, how easy accessible that energy resource is. Uh, for example, if it is if we are using wind as an energy resource or wind turbine, whether it's a reliable source of energy, continuous source of energy or not. If we are using tidal energy or wave energy, or solar energy, whether they are reliable energy. So because sometimes if it's cloudy, sun will not be available, there will not be any wind available or wave energy. So reliability comes under that. Availability is something 
the magnitude of that energy resource, how much in abundance that energy resource is available. Because if we discuss about these energy resources that uh, tidal, wind and wave, when they are they are available in a, in, in a good magnitude. Uh, then we have uh, cost, scale, and environmental effect. If you focus this, the cost, scale, and environmental effect has a simple vocabulary that word, you, you'll get the idea what that means. If, if we're using hydroelectric as an energy resource, what issues that you can encounter here in the following one is you could see that fewer area is required. The advantage first we'll discuss the advantages and then we'll go to the disadvantages. Uh, the problem is it's expensive to build. Few area of the world are only suitable for this. Flooding, flooding land and building dams could cause it. Uh, uh, flooding could be caused because we need to clear a larger area for uh, to apply this uh, to. Uh, create all this uh, on the contrary uh, we have uh, well, these are the problems that could be uh, there while using it for uh, uh, for that purpose and then we have tidal energy the with the tidal energy uh, is exactly the same as hydro power, uh, hydroelectric power station and it's expensive to build uh, only few areas are suitable for that flooding the land and building a dam causes environmental damages when it comes to wind energy, when for wind energy and solar energy, the, the problems and advantages are approximately same because it, these are the purest, uh, cleanest form of energies. So first discuss that uh, the problems that we're going to have that a large area is required, very remote, it should be created very remotely. Wind sites are needed and winds are, we, as we discussed that reliability, winds are variable. Uh, the wind turbines are noisy and can spoil the landscape. We were discussing about the wave energy. When it comes to wave energy, it's difficult to build and a uh, few devices have been successful for using wave as an energy resource. When it comes to ge geothermal energy, the problem is deep drilling and is difficult and is expensive. So here we're discussing which factors. All these factors are keeping in mind while using them as an energy resource. So just keep this in your mind whenever a question comes that discussed advantages or disadvantages. I'll, I'll get to disadvantages with most disadvantages are very easy. Disadvantages are difficult to remember. So I'm, I'm just focusing on that. Uh, getting on to the next point, uh, geo, uh, solar energy, solar energy, variable amount of sun energy, uh, sunshine in some countries, solar cells are expensive and must be large to deliver useful amount of uh, solar power that a huge cell and huge area is required for them to be used as an energy resource and biofuels huge areas of plants are needed to grow plants for decomposition for creating digestion and everything getting on to the uh, uh, usage and uh, importance uh, usage of these energy resources tidal energy if we get discussed about the hydroelectric it's it's a clean form of energy Tidal energy is a clean form of energy. Wind is a clean form of energy. Wave is a clean form of energy. There is no <clears throat> environmental effects. Uh, sorry, in, there are in, environmental effects, but in terms there is no pollution created or there is no waste which we need to uh, worry about 
geothermal is again a clean form of energy solar energy is a clean form of energy and biofuel energy so when it comes to the advantages of this we could say that uh zero environmental effect or no peel uh, environmental effects are there so we'll not use the word environmental effect we could say that no greenhouse gases uh no pollution and clean form of energy the energy resource the fuel is free we could use all these terms in order to discuss the advantages of these sources of energy so so far uh let's review everything uh right here right now that we started with energy energy is defined as ability to do work energy is further divided into mechanical energy and electromagnetic energy mechanical energy was medium dependent electromagnetic energy was medium independent mechanical energy were further divided into kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy was the energy possessed by a body due to its motion and potential energy was an energy possessed by a body due to its position or height from the earth surface the formula for kinetic energy was 1 by 2 mv square and for potential energy it was mgh the examples of mechanical energy you could say sound and for electromagnetic energy light because they are medium independent and medium dependent respectively then we divided potential energy further into uh, three types that was chemical potential energy elastic potential energy and uh, gravitation potential energy from the earth surface the potential energy is uh, when it's with respect to the earth surface it's gp whose formula is mgh chemical potential energy is the energy stored due to the position of atoms elastic potential energy is the energy stored due to the compressed or stretched spring after that uh, we went to uh, we moved on to the part energy store and energy transfer energy stores means there are certain energy sources which could be resources which could be stored and there are certain energies which can only be transferred uh, then uh out of this was electrical energy thermal energy energy store was uh elastic potential energy uh, 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 uh kinetic energy and uh, so forth and so on chemical potential energy these were the energy stores then we went to uh there were only a few formulas up till here this that like these two formulas and at times we use elastic potential energy formula which is 1 by 2 kx square here k is a spring constant you studied that in hooke's law and x is the extension after this the energy stored in transfers uh, we get to the next part where we discuss about uh, energy conservation we discussed about energy conservation that energy cannot be created nor be destroyed it can only be converted from one form to another from that we discussed the formula 1 by 2 mv square equals to mgh if work is uh, worked in against friction is present then we'll add that into it so input is equals to output plus waste energy we discussed about efficiency so uh, let me know comment down below in the video that if you need anything uh, you want me to revise or focus on anything else we discussed about how what are renewable and non renewable energy resources what factors to be kept in mind to be used it as an energy resource and we also discussed about how every energy resource is dependent on sun so the next topic that we are going to work on is work a uh, work and power and combined to that i'll explain few of the questions as well exams question as well so stay tuned uh, subscribe and like the video and uh, uh, push the bell icon so you'll get the notification whenever there is a next video that is uploaded thank you